Hey folks, it's JP. I'm down in Venetian Isles, which is New Orleans East, basically. And uh, we're gonna hive in a, a raised camp style house. And um, the homeowners dropped a section of plywood, and you can see the hive is in between the floor joists. So it's a little bit cooler than I'd like it to be today. And the bees aren't really flying a whole bunch, they, they're clustered. I got a feeling when I start fooling with them, they're probably gonna get a little pissy. So I may have to put the jacket and veil on, which you know I hate doing that, but is what it is. We're going to get into it. I'll show you what the hive looks like in just a second. I hope you enjoy the video. So here's our hive. They're pretty well organized. Brood nest is centered with surplus honey on either end. Bees a little bit clustered today. There's a little bit of a chill in the air. A little bit more than I expected, but uh, nice configuration nonetheless. We're going to go ahead and get into it. Alright folks, we uh, removed some honeycomb sections. And it just so happens that the bees are uh, they're jumping off the combs when I smoke them pretty good, and they're running up in this corner. And I've, I've vacuumed a, a decent bit of them, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and give them a good bunch of smoke and see if we can run some off. And sometimes, believe it or not, uh, occasionally you, you can run that queen off. You know, it's all depend. They don't always react to smoke like this, but these have been. So we're going to give it a whirl. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. Going. Once, once a couple of them start moving, you can commit to it. They all, they all get going. You just got to get them started. And they're starting to run off. We're gonna have to start the bee back up though, and so we can vacuum them. Well, I did manage to take some video footage of our queen running off the brood comb sections, but uh, something happened to that footage. But luckily, I did take some stills, as you can see here, and she's quite a pretty queen. All right, there's our queen, folks. See if we can get a decent, some decent footage of her. Uh, she's a little bit stressed, so I'm not going to keep her unoccupied uh, too long, but uh, she's, she's right in there. Folks, we got it done today, and uh, this is the homeowner's son, Marvin. And Marvin was a big help to me today. Uh, just pulling comb out, and he helped me separate the, the honeycomb from the brood comb. So I really appreciate it, Marvin. Wow. I think he enjoyed the experience today too. Huh? Yeah, it's 
Yeah. That's pretty cool. Huh? Fascinating, yeah. Yeah, so, so we got all our comb out, and uh, when I start smoking them in the, in the beginning of this removal process, uh, a lot of bees started vacating in the comb section. They started running back, okay, into the center of the building. And uh, I've seen them do that before. When that happens, you know, just let them do that. And just, you know, they'll pile up and you can vacuum your numbers and get them down. It just makes it easier to get the rest of the comb out. We had a good bit of comb here, so I, I smoked them heavily a couple different times. Vacuum bees, and then uh, at some point had a good influx of them coming out. And sure enough, uh, the, the the queen, you know, she left brood comb and caged her, and then it was all downhill from there. So uh, that was a neat little surprise. The bees were very gentle, extremely gentle. So it was a very enjoyable experience. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Weather was pleasant. I think we had a good time. And my friend here, Marvin, like I said, was a big help. So what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to go ahead and this is the catch box, okay? This is where we vacuum our bees, our brood box is down here with our queen and we have bees covering our brood comb sections. I'm going to pull this out and it'll allow our bees in our, in our catch box to go down and, and join our brood box. So that's what we're going to do now. So when we do that, we, we probably at some point we'll start seeing more activity down here. But maybe not. It's a little bit cool. And uh, But now they have an opportunity to drop down and cover that brood. That's about it. We're gonna way too dark and we're wrapping things up and like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Another one from JP the Bee Man. Y'all have a good day. Cause we sure did.